Smoothie time. Frozen apricots growing in my front yard. Frozen mulberries growing in my backyard. Three bananas, making sure that I let them fully ripen, like you see here. Got this powdered peanut butter with pea protein. And since it's powdered, only one gram of fat. Got this bag of powdered moringa leaves from my front yard trees. One half scoop of that. A touch of pure vanilla. Sea kelp. Passion fruit from my vine in the front yard. It looks like this on the inside. Squeeze it in. Homegrown mango from the Mystic and the Wizard podcast in Florida. It looks like this. So good. Finish off with a touch of coconut almond milk. Add some water, turn it on. See how the big boy likes the mango skins. <laughs> so sharp, Leo. Leo, you're becoming a beast. A prehistoric beast. You're the sloppiest eater of all time. Hey, quick note. On the morning routine you guys see me go through every morning on these vlog videos. This morning was Qigong. I do Qigong every morning. And I would suggest that you guys train with me. It's almost like a tutorial you guys can follow along. But I do Qigong for about 45 minutes. So I don't want to have each vlog be 45 minutes of just the morning routine. So I want you guys to push pause after each posture and repeat them about 10 times each. Then you'll get a good workout. And welcome to Weekend Weapons. It's Sunday. And on Sundays, oftentimes, I practice my weapons. So I gotta get a ton of stuff done today. I'm really behind the eight ball so I can get to the park and practice some weapons. So before I go, I gotta do a lot of cleanup here in the yard. I gotta do a lot of chores, take care of the animals and the plants. I gotta finish those wood chips you guys saw me do in vlog number one. And the good thing is I got my morning Qigong session in and I'm gonna get my weapons session in, but I may not get to the gym today to work out. So I'm gonna turn my chores into a workout, which is what I oftentimes do. And you guys will see what I'm gonna do today here. I'm gonna do wood chips and wheelbarrow those things from the front to the back. And I'm gonna do 20 push-ups after each wheelbarrow is full. And I gotta get to 500 push-ups before I could stop. So what is that? 20 times five is 100. There's five 100s and 500, so five times five is 25. It'll be 25 wheelbarrows of wood chips to get to 500 push-ups. And it's hot, it's almost 110 degrees today outside.
All right, this is the end. 20 more together, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, seven more. Fourteen, fifteen, five more. Sixteen, seventeen, just three moss. Tres mas. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, like 450. The heat, man, the heat. I'm done. I'm going in the pool. I really do believe that all of life is about yin and yang. It doesn't matter if you're a martial artist or not. Your family, your goals, your business, your school, your health of body, the things you eat, everything is yin and yang. And you have to learn what are the yin and the yang things in your life. One of the most important things that I can do is recognize the yin and the yang as my day unfolds. And as you guys have seen today, in the morning time, my Qigong workout was the perfect balance of yin and yang. But my gardening, my yard work, and the 500 push-ups was ultimate yang, okay? It's the absence of yin. But it's important that I recognize that right now my yin is depleted. It's all the way down because my day today has been very yang. So before I go out there into the world to socialize and converse and live with people, to train myself, usually the city life is a pretty yang life. Before I go out there and do that, I need to cultivate some yin and have some alone time to rebuild that depleted energy. And so I'm gonna just sit here on the couch, drop the shoulders, quiet environment, good airflow, no distractions, and take a deep breath in my nose. And a deep breath out my mouth. Make it five seconds in. Five seconds out. And right now I'm going to continue that breath pattern and visualize a very cold climate. I'm gonna visualize myself skiing in Whistler where I was born and that cold weather and that cold imagery is exactly what I need right now living here in the desert in 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Be aware of your own patterns in your life. Don't just assume that mine are the same as yours. We're all different. But that alone time is very crucial if your yin is depleted. And then go eat some yin foods, which we'll talk about in a vlog coming up.
Let's see how well the fish eat in slow motion.